Okay, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 4. Um, hopefully the graphics and stuff will look a little better this episode because I did upscale it a little bit more. Let me know if you think it's alright. But today we are going to try to befriend a demon. So to do that, we're going to select talk from the command list and then scout. Before they do so, demons will ask you questions, make demands, answer them well for a successful conversation. Alright, let's do this. Oh, so we have actual... we can access everything now. So we have skills. Let's see. I guess attack comes into skill. Then we have our items. This is actually a really nice interface. Uh, we can talk and scout. Have a demon join our party. Summon a demon from your stock and substitute demon. So I can actually have eight in stock. So that's cool. Flee from battle. Chance of escape zero. But I guess this is because it's a story thing. And then we can also pass. So that should give us a half turn if we passed. Just like in Nocturne. Alright. Centaur. Yoma Centaur. Ooh. That's some height. I've noticed that the sprites for the characters and everything are all much higher quality than the background. Like, the background in the dungeon is really blurry at the moment. But, um... Let's keep going. Flynn asks the opponent to become his ally. My shoulders ache. Massage them for me. Hmm. If I massage them, it's almost like... I'm working for you. So, I think you should massage... Actually, it's kind of hard for you to massage your own shoulders. I'ma just say, no way, dude. <laughs> what sayest thou to me, worm? Hmm. Oh, this anger hath unknotted my aching back. Wishest thou to make th me thine ally? Then offer me compensation. I shall take medicine. I don't have it, dude. Waste of flesh. I shall take a fair amount of thy life force. Let's cheat. I imagine that just life force, you're just gonna take some HP. I'm okay with that, but I kinda wanna see what this cheat does while I'm pretty sure we can't fail this. So, Flynn responds with an evasive answer. The enemy is satisfied. I shall take life stone. Absolutely not. Thou canst not hope to converse with me without so much as lifestone. Make thy selection. Yeah, this guy just wants to... Here, take some HP. That is not what I want, fool. Very well, I have nothing more to say. Okay. I didn't want you anyway, I guess. Let's beat him down. If it's like Nocturne, I think after failing with him, I can't talk to him again. Actually, I'm not sure if that was a thing in Nocturne. I find myself in a foul mood. Give me something. Here, why don't you have a dried fish. <laughs> this is no mere fish. Tis a human corpse, withered by time. Wishes thou to make me thine ally? Then offer me compensation. I shall take lifestone. No. Thou canst not hope to converse with me without so much as a lifestone. Allow me to commemorate our meeting by striking thee to leave an imprint upon both thy body and thy soul. Uh... Hell no. Actually, no, it's fine. You can hit me. 
Basis thyself, Sarah. The memory of this blow will remain with thee in the afterlife. Okay. I shall take... No! This is actually really bad, because he can just kill me here. He can actually just kill me. Because if I refuse, he's going to attack me, right? I'm not giving you a life stone. Oh, yeah, sure. Take seven Maka. All right. I am Yoma Centaur. I am at thy service. Oh. And he has a lot of HP. That was not the easiest conversation. Burrows. But we somehow managed. Oh, okay, I see. So it's eight in total, including the ones in your party. All right. Didn't I complete the quest? Acquire three demons. Okay. Let me actually check this centaur now. So we can see that... You are resistant, resistant to piercing, null ice, weak to thunder, and your skills, you got Bufu. Great. Oh yeah, apparently, uh, magic is actually a pretty good choice in this game. So. Ooh, let's see, we've got ourselves Berry, Napea, and Knight Mokoi. If I remember correctly, Mokoi does curse, and then since you're a fairy, I imagine you heal. So why don't we get rid of the Mokoi? Because if it's like Nocturne, I can't talk to them until they're both dead. Okay. And I'm dead. I did not think Mokoi would have Zio. Alright, that's our first death. What's this? Is this some kind of afterlife? Beyond the river is the land of the dead. Okay, who are you? It is where the souls of the deceased endure nothingness as they await reincarnation. Soul of the deceased youth, welcome to the River Styx. The River Styx. My name is Karen. I am the ferryman of this river. Um... Could I ask you kindly to not bury me across this river? But that aside, it seems you haven't saved your own life for some time. If your death becomes final, I believe you will suffer great losses. Yeah. I have a proposal for you. Wouldn't you like to be revived in the world of the living? Yeah, that could be nice. Do you see this immense mountain of souls? They are all waiting their turn to undergo the ritual crossing of the River Styx. But I can't keep up my dealings with them. Their number increases by the day. My point is, I don't want to accept any more new souls. If you return to the world of the living, it would make my job easier. Okay. It will also allow you to be revived in the state you were in just before you died. So like in battle? Not a bad deal, hmm? Couldn't I just reload my save, dude? 
The only problem would be that doing this breaks the rules as a ferryman and treads on dangerous ground. Who sets these rules? But don't worry. Maka opens all doors. I'd be willing to do this for you for a little compensation. So you just want a bribe? You can pay me when you return to the world of the living. Sure, dude. Though if you like, I can put it on a tab as well. Come now, don't you have unfinished business in the world of the living? You don't want to wait in line, do you? No, not really. I need this much marker to revive you in the world of the living. Do we have a deal? That's like all my money. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll wait my turn here. I kind of want to see what this what this does. Are you mad? This will only increase my workload. You'll die a true death. Oh, I'm sorry, dude, but 331 maka, that's that's a lot of money. Listen, I only need this much maka to revive you in the world of the living. N no, I'll wait here. You just had to make more work for me. Fine, take this number. Let me be clear. Your turn will come up long after the wind erodes the boulders down to sand. I mean, honestly, I've got all the time in the Go world. Go idle the time away for eternity, soul of a former samurai. Now then, what number was I at? Whew. Honestly, this is going to take forever to settle. Well, if you didn't waste like five minutes talking to me, and I assume every new soul that comes here, maybe you'd do your job a little faster. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, I got back to this point. I have the centaur now. Um, this time I had to use 14 maka to get him, but I didn't have to use a medicine or anything, so, or a healing water. All right, this time we have Fairy Napea and Jackie Lomdierg. All right, let's, I do want the fairy, so I'm gonna take this guy out first. Let's see if you're weak to ice. There is an exclamation mark, so maybe. Can I scan? No, I think it's like Nocturne. I just gotta remember. All right. We've got the fairy on her own. Ooh. Flynn asked the opponent to become his ally. I think I've been eating too much lately, and I've gained some weight. What can I do to slim down? Why don't you join forces with me? We'll move around, you'll be fighting. Huh. If I go with you, I'll just end up dead. That's kind of true. I said I wanted to lose a couple of pounds, not my life. Is there, like, any point in this conversation? I want to know demons better. Or do I want to flirt with her? Yeah, let's flirt with her. I want you to know me better. You want me to get to know you? Then let me join you. I'll learn all your secrets and see you for what you really are. Oh. I'm Fairy Napaya. Nice to meet you, I guess. You better treat me nice. I will treat you nice. Okay. So we got a wind and an ice user. Awesome. Let's actually take a look at your stats here. Weak to ice, weak to wind, or resistant to wind. Actually, and your skills. Oh. Wait, you don't have Xan. You can learn Zan, but you have Dia, which actually is even better. Actually, why don't I use this right now? Can I? She has so much MP. Holy crap. I can Dia for days. 
I will save. Uh, actually, no, I would like to save here. There we go. Okay, so we need one more demon. Uh, Mokoi could be nice. But let's see. Uh, I don't need either of you. Okay, so you are weak to ice, and you are... Or Fairy is weak to ice. Centaur is weak to... Uh, Zeo. So, let's kill the centaur first. This game actually does tell me, like, if I'm about to do something super effective, it does have that exclamation mark. So, it is kinder than Nocturne, where I had to essentially memorize everything. Ooh. We get life stones and medicine. Okay. That'll help out in bribing people. I don't want to go there yet. Only samurai who have obtained this door's key have leave to pass through. So the sign says. So I need a key. Okay. Oh! Alright, there's the Mokoi. I need to be careful of this dude because of, um... Because of Zan. And it looks like I can't guard. Actually, why don't I pass to the centaur? You can go ahead and get rid of her. And then I can talk. Alright. Hey, where are you heading anyway? I'm heading towards tomorrow. Well, too bad, you're not gonna see tomorrow. Okay, well. Man. That Moko hits really, really hard. Okay, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna heal. And then I'm gonna talk. Hey, you. You think there's anything you don't have enough of? I don't have enough... Time. Yeah, I heard that humans only live about a hundred years or so, right? You really don't get enough time to do anything, huh? Alright, but you gotta give me something. You do want me on your side, right? I don't like wasting time talking. Let's settle this here and now. 189 maka. How's that? Can you pay that much? It's a lot of maka, dude. It's a lot of maka. I will... I'm not paying that much. Give me a life stone. Actually, yeah, I can do that. Give me a chocolate pot. I don't have it, dude. Let's cheat. Damn it. Don't hit the centaur. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do what I did last time. Where you're heading anyway? I am. Okay, so we know towards tomorrow doesn't work. It seems like these are all set answers. Maybe. I'm waiting for someone. So you got time to kill. I'll play with you. Yo, I hate this guy.
I've been getting into fortune telling recently. Oh yeah? Tell me my fortune then. Today you will have good luck. That's the best you're gonna get? I'm it's not asking for much. Alright, but you gotta give me something. You do want me on your side, right? I don't like wasting time talking, so let's settle this here and now. 341 no. Hmm, I want Centaur dead, you heard me. Dead. No. Centaur is a better dude than you. Huh, you got guts. I know what you can give me. I want some of your spirit. I'm guessing that's my MP. Sure, I don't have any magic right now. I want your life, a whole lot of it. Uh, I can because I do have Dia now. But that's not a lot. Yo, are you gonna... Alright, I'm Knight Mokoi. Nice meeting you, pal. Alright. That better have been worth it. Did I get my lifestone back? It looks like I did. Alright, and we leveled up, so... Apparently we get full healed, it looks like. I think I'm just gonna start with a 3-2 spread for now. Until I get to like 20 magic and then I'll start putting stuff in other stuff. Alright, training exercise 2 complete. And our centaur learned Needle Shot. Cool. Th this demon has learned all the skills that it can learn. It is ready to pass on a Whispered skill. Okay. A Whispered skill is a skill the demon knows that can be taught to Flynn. If the demon whispers a skill Flynn already knows, that skill will be strengthened a bit. A demon can whisper a skill only once. Yeah. I want Bufu. Wait, you can whisper more than one. Oh, then I'm gonna have to get as many demons as I possibly can. I might as well get Needle Shot too then, for now. There's no reason not to. Has thou had enough? Yeah, I'm satisfied. This is Hope speaking. So you've completed the next quest. A decent effort so far. But it's too early to celebrate now. I have the details of your next quest. This will be your final training exercise. You must learn the basics of exploring labyrinths. All right. Solid grasp of your surroundings is necessary for a samurai. I have hidden a certain item of value somewhere in Naruhu. Your task is to find and retrieve it. I'm so sorry, guys. I completely forgot to change the layout that entire time. Moreover, for this exercise, you will all be competing against each other. As soon as one of you acquires the item of value, the exercise will end. That is all. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. Alright, this is the final training exercise. A samurai must have a thorough grasp on his surroundings. I've hidden a certain item of value in the second stratum of Naraku. Find it and return to Aquila Statue Plaza with it and make no inquiries regarding its nature. Hey Master, mm -hmm. if you're going to do the next quest, I recommend using the Mapper app. Want me to explain Mapper to you? Sure. Mapper has been added to the list of unlockable apps in Burroughs. By using Mapper, you can see a map of the area on the lower screen. In addition to your location, Mapper shows the direction you are facing and the direction the camera is pointing. It also shows which direction north is. Use the stylus to slide the Mapper view on the lower screen or view the other levels of the map. Did you get all that? Yep. Until next time, Master. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock this. What should we do, Master? 
Ooh. That's awesome. That's a way better map than in other games. Holy crap. All right. Yeah, I am so sorry for not changing the layout earlier. Because now I realize that entire negotiating and stuff, you guys didn't see the bottom screen at all. Um, I mean, it's not that important, but it does suck not being able to see it. So. And I actually got all my MP back from leveling up. That's amazing. That's really, really good. Goodness. Oh. Our agility is high enough to dodge pretty nicely. Uh. And Napaya learns Zan. Sweet. So one more level. Or one more move, and then I'll be able to learn what she knows. Okay. Uh, why don't we start mapping this area? Actually, let's just go through. Apparently, you can't do a quick 180. I was hoping that 180 would prevent the preemptive, but it did not. We will Zan you, attack you, and we're good to go. So in this game, I want to get all the demons I possibly can, since it means I can learn skills from it. So that vampire dude, whatever his name was, I probably want to get one of him too. And this griffin here. Okay. That was not good. Apparently this griffin is incredibly tanky. Got a Griffin Talon and a Needle Orb. Burrows. Revival Beat. That's the one. Oh. Okay, so when you die, you get one HP. Another thing we learned from that is Flynn does not have to be alive all the time. So that's nice. Now, what is this needle orb? It's a weak gun attack to all enemies. Okay. And a griffin talon. Hard claw can be used to make weapons. Okay. And we get two star jewelry. What is this? Has average value. I guess relics are what we use to sell in order to get money in this game. Oh. Oh. What is it, Prentice? Tis not my role to give guidance to fledgling samurai. But since you've come this far, I'm willing to share a few truths, if you are of a mind to hear them. Sure. 
mystic relics can be excavated at the same location many times, endlessly. For reasons unknown, the same relic may appear again after some time has passed. They are mystic indeed. Once you have excavated a relic, you may wish to return to that site later and try your hand at it again. Alright, that's actually good information. Hmm. Compete against each other? This is no village wrestling contest, I hope he realizes. For us to be in such grave peril while that hope, he's taken leave of his senses. Small wonder he commands the samurai, eh? Alright, Walter's not happy about this test. <laughs> During the first quest, I landed a critical blow when I accidentally tripped. The next quest was simpler, since as you might expect, money is no object to me. It was actually easier than the first. But the final challenge all depends on one's strength, and that's a field I'm particularly lacking in. S someone else may have first place, I care not whom. Merely let this debacle of a training exercise be done with. Alright, well, uh, with that, I am going to end the episode here. Again, I'm really sorry for the layout thing. I will work on getting used to switching the layouts back and forth. Um, again, I want to leave the layout like this most of the time anyway. It's just, there was the cutscene, and I completely forgot to change it back. But next time, we are going to go through this labyrinth, see if we can map out the entire place. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!